in 2014, I started my first podcast. I jumped into the world of podcasting. I had this podcast called The Listener. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I, I was using some apps to actually get it going. Then fast forward, me and a couple of friends started the Oh OK podcast. I think that was probably, I think immediately after that. And then I had several other podcasts since then. And each year, each podcast, the technology, the software, the hardware, my experience has gotten better. And now in 2024, you can quite literally podcast from your phone. You can quite literally podcast anywhere. And with the rise of AI and a lot of these computers and software and how you can quite literally just go into a Best Buy and say, can you direct me to the closest podcasting equipment, please? I'm, I'm starting. I want to start a podcast. Like they will literally, they have a section dedicated for podcasting. 2014, 2015, 2016, that wasn't necessarily the case. Like you were lucky if you saw a Blue Yeti anywhere outside of a, a mono price, a Best Buy, not Best Buy, but uh, Amazon.com or any other online retailer. But now you go anywhere and you can literally just get equipment for podcasting. Uh, with that being said, back in the day, it was just a lot harder. You'd have to like learn and study, write notes, collaborate with other creators on Reddit and just try to practice and do this thing and deal with bad audio. Now with CapCut, you have CapCut, you have tons of other AI tools that make recording or creating effortless effortless like you have cap cut that you can get effects like removing from removing you from the background rotoscoping with one click and you don't have to think about it it's 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 really amazing like i'm i'm really jealous for the up and coming creator who's just getting here and the the thing is i don't necessarily think that people really appreciate it so when people sit on my, my blue chair here, where is it over there, behind me and they want to start a podcast and they're looking to start a YouTube channel, looking to start creating, they would say, man, it's, it's really hard for me. I just don't understand this stuff. I, if I find it hard for me to sympathize for them, because I'm sure that you're really good at something. And the thing that you're really, 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 really good at, it took you a long while to basically get to that point. I was cleaning out my um my back one of my backpacks and I had like three journals full of like notes. I gotta find it. Let me see. Here we go. Found these uh journals here and these are like like filled with like notes of you know with photography stuff and all these other cool things. I had like light settings and this is funny. Looking at it now, it's hilarious. So I was learning uh, about microphone tips and uh, looks looks a little sketchy, but I was trying to understand like why, why this tip doesn't work in this application for this certain way. Why, when I, why I can't use this type of headphone jack? And there are so many levels on levels on levels and it, it just explodes into a multitude of things. I'm learning Photoshop settings, camera settings. I mean, I, I was, this journal I got, this is like a newer one. I was logging um, my experience uh, with photo shoots. Like I was, you know, I was stand in front of a, in front of the model. I'll, I'll write what camera I'm using. I'll write random thoughts while I'm doing a photo shoot. I'll, I'll date it. I, it was so fun. For me, so this one says uh, 10, 20, 2019, I had this idea to do a professional headshot with a manager. I met somebody, this guy, it, I became obsessed with it to the point where I had no other choice but to learn photography. I just recorded uh, this podcast episode and which kind of inspired this talk. I recorded this podcast episode and I was talking about, um, the climb or climbing or just dealing with adversity to some degree. And I remember um, very distinctly 2013 when I picked up like my first official camera, so micro four thirds, 
Nikon J1. If you, go- if you Google it, it's a small, tiny white camera. And this camera, it basically started my whole content creator journey. And I, it almost didn't exist. My, this journey almost didn't really happen because there was at one point I was looking up the lenses and I was like, man, you know, I don't really understand like the focal length. This says it's 18 millimeter, but when I look on Google and I look at what an 18 millimeter looks like, it's giving me a little different look. I don't un- understand why. And I was watching a Jared Polin video. Jared Polin is one of my photography YouTube heroes. And he was talking about the, uh, the comp, was it the, the crop factor? So you have your uh, medium format, full frame, APS-C crop sensor, uh, and micro four thirds. And that's like the traditional one that most people that I would necessarily use. And I was trying to understand why when I put a 18 millimeter lens, on this camera, it's give it's a lot. It's not looking right, and he explained that there is something called a crop factor. As soon as I heard that, my brain shut off. I'm not doing math. I'm. I've always told myself that I'm not a math person, and that's the thing. I've told myself that, and immediately I'm watching this Jared Poland video. I'm sitting in my one bedroom apartment, and it's it's dusk. It's pretty. It's warm, and it's like purple lights, purple reddish lights coming through the window. And I'm watching Jared Polin on the TV and I immediately feel like I feel defeated. Like here, here I am with this opportunity to join this, this community of creators and I'm letting math stop me. And I said, well, it can't be that hard. And it's, it's literally not hard at all. And quite frankly, it's th- the math that's involved with photography it's something that you just don't even really think about. But for some odd reason, as soon as I heard you got to do math with this math involved, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that. And that, that's it's a thing that when, when I sit down with people who want to create, who want to have a YouTube channel, who want to have a studio, a YouTube studio, who want to, you know, do a lot of other things. As soon as I mention something that they're kind of averse to, like, whoa, I don't understand camera settings. I don't understand a computer. I have a beautiful, smart, talented friend of mine who, when I talk about creating content and I say, well, you got to start using your computer. They're very much like wanting to convulse and throw up. Like it's, they just can't deal with it. But on their phone, they understand the UI and it's, it's just, you have to force yourself if you want to, if you really want to. And, and there's a quote from John Maxwell who says, everything worthwhile is uphill. And that's what my podcast uh, is about. I'm going to upload it tomorrow. And this video, I'm not going to even edit. I just had this thought and I just wanted to to share. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Um, I have, you know, like this notebook is like, you know, filled to the brim with like quotes and stuff. And it's like, I re- I knew that producing podcasts and when when I first started in 2014 would be really hard so I'd listen to podcasts by Dan Benjamin I would listen to uh there's this there's this guy you probably heard of him his name is Tom Buck I've listened to Tom Buck a couple of times I've listened to so many different other people then I would listen to somebody and you would hear them talking like oh you don't know what you're talking about and then I would immediately just get turned off because my whole goal was just to learn and learn and be better than yesterday. And journaling, like, you know, journaling, you know, having a Jerry in the background, journaling has really helped me out to no end. Like it's, I can look back and say, okay, I made that mistake here. And it's not even just thinking back for me when I write stuff down, i I just carve it in my brain. Like I know it forever. As soon as I write it down, it's like I bring it into existence and I pretty much never forget it. And that has helped me a lot uh, because climbing uphill, learning something new, it's really hard. Nobody's going to help you. You have to pretty much help yourself. And that's something that you have to go through. So to all the people who are, who are annoyed at at the fact that Content creating is hard. You got to buy a camera. You got to learn how to use the camera. You got to download the computer. You got to download all the apps. It has never, it has never, ever 
It has never been so easy to create a podcast now. It has never been easy to create content. Um, like this setup right now, I'm using a camera and I'm connected to it via USB-C because who cares? Who cares about the crispy 4K? I'm plugging it in. I have a message to say that rhymed. I'm a rapper. And I'm using a Rode VideoMic NTG. And the, the, the crazy thing is all you have to do is understand the applications. All you have to do is understand. I'm not saying learn the camera and, and um, understand what page and what this, this and that. Understand how to use the tool, when to use the tool, and you'll be set. Once you understand that, well, this camera has USB-C out and you can connect it to an, a computer and the computer will see this camera as a webcam, you're like, oh, wait, so I don't need to buy an ugly LG webcam. I can just use my camera to get high quality 4K on my Zooms. Okay, great. Well, how am I going to use that? Then you, then you start applying uh, the different tools. Oh, Zoom crunches your video down because of just compression. And Zoom is not the best app for meeting people. I use Ecamm. Ecamm, you can stream in 4K. Ecamm allows you to do a multitude of things. Then you start thinking. and that, But the only way you can start doing that is writing stuff down and then also climbing. This is not like a... This is how I literally talk to uh, my wife. And she's just standing there like, okay, babe. <laughs> but this is how I talk to a lot of my clients who are struggling, who tell themselves like, who these people are accomplished people. These people have accomplished more things than I have, you know, academically, financially, uh, life-wise. Some of them are like just, you know, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Just well-received and, you know, they got all these awards and research, but for some odd reason, when they open up Final Cut Pro, they're just like, I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing with me with Premiere, but I have to, I, once I understand the tool, and I know how to use it. I use it for that thing. And if I need to learn anything more, then I can do that. But I'm not going to pile on too much. Let me create a YouTube video. Let me create a podcast. Let me understand how to plug in a microphone to an apparatus, to a, a device. And let me understand how to take that audio from this device and connect it to my computer so that people on Zoom can hear me and hear the crisp, clean audio. Because you can have a really good microphone. And if nobody else can hear you or if there's hiss in there, it doesn't really matter what microphone you're using. You know, it's, it's all about understanding the tool and being willing to understand it. So, yeah, this is like a weird video that I just really wanted to make. I was trying to film a uh, Patreon video that I wanted to make about, um, what was it? I wanted to talk about my experience with consulting and, and how I... Um, build or, you know, work with clients in with the consultations. And I was like, you know what? The camera's on. Let me just put out a video. I haven't shot a video in a while. Let's go. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did comment down below, like, and subscribe. And um, I have this new segment that I've been doing. It basically shouting out people who are supporting me. I know it's like a weird thing and I hope that it doesn't get too long. I hope that it does. <laughs> Uh, but I hope that it doesn't get too long. So I'm, I'm going to shout out the people who have been supporting me on Patreon and everywhere else. And that is the first one is, uh, Hassan. Hassan, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube in the description down below. And my wife, my wife is her photo right there sneaking. <laughs> She's also been support. She also supports me on Patreon and shout out to L. Uh, she supports me as well. I'm going to put Hassan's YouTube channel and L's podcast. L actually has a podcast called The Agreeable Gray Area. You could check it out everywhere you listen to podcasts. And um, all right, y'all, if y'all enjoy this video, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.